Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Ed. Peter. I'm, uh, my father isn't with us anymore, but uh, I just addressed a former governor by his first name, but that's what he prefers, but my dad's not happy. <laughs> uh, that's just the way we did it back home, and uh, I'm going to share some stories, maybe, some personal stories today and some feelings that I have about this day. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming today and everybody that has joined us on the internet and uh, electronically. It truly is an exciting day. I know I'm very excited as we move forward at UND and Fighting Hawks Athletics. I also want to point out that it's very important to respect the tradition and our past all those who played under different names, different logos. I know in our football office, we respect those that have come before us and allow us to practice in a facility like this, allow us to have the support that we do because they were so important to us. It's no different than when I show up at the office every day. I've made it known countless times. I'm just humbled to be in the position I am, and I'm humbled to be in front of you today to represent our football program and our athletic department, but uh, I think about Lennon and Thomas and Helling and Murphy and Olsen and Zaz and all those guys who were head coaches before. It's always important. I feel really important that we give them their due, as I just mentioned, those who came before us on the fields, the courts, the pool, ice. Really important. Personal story I'm going to share with you. Um, we had a son born in 2003 in my previous time here, and it was a wild day for me. You know, a lot of people don't wait till they're 40 to have their first kid. Um, and uh, we had this baby, but while this process was going on, all this coaching and nurses in and out and all this, the twins happen to be on TV. I'm a big baseball fan. So while I'm supposed to be coaching this, uh, they call it Lamaz, I think. Um, I didn't really pay attention in those classes, I gotta be honest. But I was supposed to be coaching, but I was watching the twins out of the corner of my eye and they happened to have a player, A.J. Prasinski. Well, that night, he hit a grand slam home run and a three-run homer, so the twins won. And we had decided if we have a boy, we did it the old-fashioned way in 2003, yet we decided to wait to see, well, we had a boy, and we decided if it's a boy, his name's going to be Alexander Johan. And Alexander Johan, and Johan is spelled with a J, so he's born, and Laura and I think it's really going to be cool to call him AJ, because AJ Pruszynski did so well that night. So we called him AJ forever. Everybody called him AJ. Family, friends, we introduced our baby as AJ. And we're down in Southern Illinois, and AJ's in third grade, second half of his school year. He came home and he said, Dad, can I be Alex? And boy, I was like, God, but it was so cool. AJ hit a grand slam. I didn't say anything to him. It's so cool. Don't you understand what happened that night? You weren't only born, AJ hit a grand slam, a three-run homer. But you know what? I said, yeah, buddy, you can be Alex. And I love Alex as much as I loved AJ. But he wanted to be called Alex. And I love this university. And I love the direction we're going, and it's really important that we feel that way about this change and this transition.
You know, we were asked a few months ago, hey, how are you going to approach this? And in the uh, football office, I said, hey, it's going to be a new name, it's going to be a new logo, but the same vision. The same vision we had as a staff when we got together January 15, 2014. And I'll, our vision is real simple. It's real simple. We want to work hard every day, and we want to move our football program to the top of the big sky. That means we're in the tournament. That means that we have an opportunity to take care of our ultimate goal, and that is to bring an FCS national championship to UND in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I know Coach Barry's here today, and we appreciate him coming. I know he's got to run here in a little bit. I have so much respect and admiration for our hockey program, what they accomplished this past spring. It's just awesome. Awesome what they did and what they endured throughout, this, throughout the season. But I even have a greater respect for what they're about every day. And we hear it, it rolls off the captain's tongue, the assistant captains, the coaches, the fourth line, the third line, they're all talking about team first attitude, hard work, their culture, in the building, in the rink. I now refer to it as the rink. That's pretty good for a guy that got up here in 1989 and didn't know hockey even changed on the fly. I thought you had to check in to get into the game like basketball. <laughs> but I have so much respect for their day-to-day -day operation and so much admiration for what they accomplished. As we move through the summer and the fall, I can assure you UND football is going to embrace this logo and what it represents. It's going to represent a competitive spirit. It's going to represent commitment to the program. It's going to represent, represent no man is more important than the program, from the head coach on down to the last guy on the roster. It's going to represent what we want to be in the classroom, and that's top-notch student athletes. It's going to represent who we want to be in the community who we want to be in the Midwest, when we volunteer, whatever we do, we want to represent excellence. It's going to represent a determined group of individuals to accomplish something that has never been done at our university, and that's an FCS championship. We're going to be smart, tough, physical on offense. We're going to be relentless on defense. And that's what that logo is going to represent. I will share with you today that logo, when we take the field September 1st, out in Stony Brook, it's going to be on our helmet. When we take the field against Bowling Green, it's going to be on our helmet. And when we come home, September 17th, the Potato Bowl and take on the University of South Dakota, we're going to proudly run out with that logo on our helmet because we know who we want to be and what we represent. I will never tell our followers how to feel, how to react, But I will do this. I will lead our football team and challenge our guys day after day to embrace this great time in our university, wear that logo with pride, and I will do this with all our great followers right here in Grand Forks, you here today, and all those across the country and the world. I'm going to ask you to help us in this mission to keep the University of North Dakota great, 
Fighting Hawks athletics make it special, and together we will do it from this day forward. Thank you very much.